So now we do bin utils pass two. Make the temporary build configure. and build it. Okay, it's done. Let's run some tests. Okay, that's done. So let's just go back and check the results. Going through what well, it's going through looked all okay, but let's have a good look at it. Um, so bin utils tests. Gas tests. Bin utils summary. So it looks like the tests are running on different cores there. It looks like it run two test suites at the same time there. So the number of expected passes on the bin utils is 35. Um, LD test. So the gas summary 149 expected passes. LD summary 
272 passes for f expected failures. So that's okay, and that's it. So that's all good as well. Again, that matched up with what I got when I was testing this. So that's installed. Now we've got to prepare for the readjusting phase later on. And once again, we don't have to retain the subdirectory as we did in Linux from scratch 5. Okay, so that's been utils done. So the remainder of this chapter is just building the remaining support tools that we'll need to build the proper um, Linux from scratch. So it's probably going to be um, fairly similar in terms of the commands that we need to put in on a lot of these packages as we're just doing a basic installation. Okay, let's install that. Move on to bash. Got one patch to put in and configure. and build it. Okay, uh, so I'm not running tests except for the tool chains. So we've, we've built the tool chain for this section. So I'm just going to go straight to install and create a sim link. So bzip2 next. Utils. 
Leute, what would sing get off? CD that should be. Right, so um, as with some of these commands we're gonna encounter, we've got this uh, basic configure prefix equals tools a make and make install so I'm just going to bulk these up because they're all similar and install these in one go and when I do this I've just got to remember if there's any supplementary commands such as this one to put in afterwards Okay, that's done. Let's put this in and tidy up. So diff utils, and once again, as you can see, it's just a, a standard command, or sequence of commands to build and install this. Find your tools. Oh, that looks different because I had two Vs in the uh, tar command, so it's output even more information than usual. So, once again, same commands to build and install this. That's done. Next we go to Gork. Um, okay, so we we'll have to do these commands separately as uh, so we've got to fix something after the configuration files have been created. Now get text. So again, we get text as um, previous couple of Linux and scratches we compiled five and four. Only certain 
parts of Get Text are built and installed. It's done. So grip next. done. Now we've got gzip. Patch. So we've got a patch first of all, then we configure it with that command. And like get text, we only compile certain parts of Perl that are needed at the moment. Okay, so we copy some bits that are required 
and that's complete. So set next. Now we do tar and it's, oops, it's probably unnecessary to rebuild tar, but bear in mind that it's been built with the um, libraries that form part of the host system um, with the host system's tools. So we do need to rebuild it to use the libraries of this temporary system. So the binaries won't be the same anyway and what, what's produced, although the behaviour will be the same of the program itself. Okay, that's done. We want tax info. So once again, this is just a straightforward build. And last package in this section, Util Linux. And once again, we only build parts of this package for some binaries that we need. Just speeds things up a little bit. Okay, so that's all the packages done for the temporary build section. Um, it does say these steps are optional, but it saves a little bit of space, so let's do that. And some documentation. So changing ownership, um, remainder of this must be performed as root, so let's come out of LFS now. And double check that LFS is set in the roots environment, so well, of course it should be because we've put it in the one of the startup files and there it is, so that's okay. Um, recommends changing the ownership of tools to root. And... As I said before, I used to back up the tools, but I think I only ever used it once or twice, so um, I don't bother with that now. <laughs> 